What is up YouTube? My name is James Everybody gets a brand new video here today and today I got another editing tutorial for you guys. Today is going to be a little different from what I've been doing in the past with these editing tutorials. Today we're doing concert photography. Okay, so lately I've been doing like portraits, like like urban landscapes, stuff like that, but today we're doing concert photography. Concert photography is something that I really, really love doing in the past, like, since I've ever started photography, this is what got me into photography. These are my roots, okay? Like, the one thing I wanted to do when I got my camera is go to festivals and concerts and just shoot musicians and DJs and all these different kinds of people. I just, I love the atmosphere of concerts and just shooting them, just, it's awesome. I love it. It's, it's so much fun. If you haven't done it already, I definitely recommend you go do it. It's so much fun. Since I've started concert photography, I've shot a good amount of people. I've shot, first big names I ever shot were Ice Cube, Tyler the Creator. I shot John Bellion back in December. I snuck into John Bellion actually. I might make a story like, I don't know. I might just like make a video of like how I did that and how you can do it too for the future. I also shot 21 Pilots, Green Day. A lot of these concerts, I was just there at the shows and I brought my camera and I snuck to the front. A lot of them were just, I actually got press passes and stuff like that. I haven't gotten any press passes at all lately, I haven't really tried. I haven't been doing it too much lately, but I definitely want to go do it more. I do a lot of shows for like friends and stuff like that, I'll go help them out, I'll shoot their shows, it's fun. I get some cool shots out of it. And so today I'm going to show you guys how you guys can edit your concert photos. In this video, I'm going to show you guys three different styles of edits. I'm going to show you two photos in which I have super, super clean edits and not much is done, but what's done makes a hell of a difference. The second thing I'm going to show you guys is how to make like cool, grainy, grungy rock photos. Okay. These are for like your rock bands that want to have that like hard, like that edgy look and it looks really, really cool. The second one is just like an action shot kind of, it's just like. I don't know how to explain it. It's just, it's not, as, it's not the same as the other ones though, okay? It's not the same, so just take a word for it. All the raw files will be in the description below for you to download, and you can follow along, edit with me, and practice your skills. Anyway, let's hop right into this tutorial and get started. Okay, so this is the first shot that we have. It's of John Bellion. This is like top five, one of my favorite concert photos I've ever taken. It's just super clean. You get that cool little line of bokeh on the bottom left corner going towards him. And then you have that little bit of blue smoke and blue light hitting him from behind. And it's super clean, like yellowish white light hitting him from the front. And he's just like in his grind. He's like in his moment singing his heart out. And it's just super, super cool. I love this shot. It's just so clean. Second one is of Tyler Joseph from 21 Pilots. This was during the finale. I was actually in the crowd as this happened. This is a great story. I'll probably make a whole video of my concert stories or something like that because I have a ton of good ones and they're all kind of crazy. So I'll definitely talk about that sometime in the future. He's just banging his drum. There's confetti and smoke coming out of it. And there's a lot of issues with this photo editing it. And I'll show you guys what I had to go through to edit this photo. This picture is of Jessica Chertok at Amity Music Hall. Uh, I was at one of her shows because uh, she wanted me to come shoot it for her, so uh, that was pretty fun and I got awesome, awesome shots out of it. The next one is of James Fabio, I think that's his last name. <laughs> um, this is him playing the drums, he's part of a band called Retrophilia. They're awesome too, they have great stuff. This is actually the same night as Jessica Chertok. Um, this one is one of my favorite photos of all time. You can just see his like, he's just like in his, he's the same, it's like the same thing as like John Bellion. He's like just really like, just like in the moment and he's just playing the drums and it's just, I don't know, the, the, the composition of this photo makes me so happy. I actually got this inspiration for this photo from Brad Heaton. He's awesome. He's, the, he's actually the photographer for 21 Pilots and I don't know, I just love this shot so much. Anyway, let's get straight into this, straight into the one on John Bellion. I'll show you guys exactly what I did to get this photo. First, we'll look at the original version of it once this loading screen loads up we got the original version right here definitely a big difference definitely a big difference in my opinion the the new version definitely looks a lot cleaner than the old version let me just bring this over here get a bit of a bigger look pretty much what I did to this photo only up the up the contrast a little bit I lowered the highlights a little bit I have the shadows all the way the whites I brought down a little bit 
the blacks were brought up. If you see if I bring the shadows back down, it's a lot darker and the highlights, I don't know, it just doesn't look good at all. Like the highlights look super drowned out. But the shadows also bring up the highlights too a little bit, like the highlights in the curve. If I reset the if I reset the tone curve, this is the look you get. Like that's the most ugliest shit I've ever seen in my life. That's so disgusting. But when I do that, it just looks fantastic. Now there's a lot of things you can do in this photo. You can up the clarity a shit ton, you get more like detail in his pants. I don't know, it just looks a little too much. You can keep it at like 50, that looks okay. You can you can even lower it to like minus 25. Or you can keep it at like plus 12, 13, which is what I did. I think it looks perfect. The yellows, I made more orange just because of the uh, bokeh. It just looked a little better, more orange. And the blues, I made more cyan because I just love that look. I don't know. The regular blue didn't look too good, so I didn't mess with any of the saturations, the luminances. I don't know. I wasn't too big fan of changing this stuff when I was like uh, when I was editing this photo. I don't know. And then you have the you have the uh, highlights and the shadows. Now I have the highlights at like a bluish aqua, and a saturation like plus fifteen, and the shadows I didn't even mess with at all. Um, but with my highlights here, if I if you see if you look at what how much of a difference that makes. You get more of a red in his face but if you add the blue it becomes more of like a white light and I like that a lot <laughs> vignetting I add a little a little vignetting to it and then I added a little more uh, like a cyan hue in the blue primaries to get more of that uh to get that look of like blue light that light blue light on his back now one of the main things that made this photo what it is it was the brushes the brushes made this photo. It looks terrible when you keep all these things in it, like that screen, that little body right there, with that little like that little shadow right there, that person. Um, this little gold like line right here just looks terrible. But if you brush them out, so if you take a brush and you just lower your exposure to negative four, which is the lowest it can go, and you just brush over these things. It makes the photo look so much freaking better. Look at that shit. And then you're going to have to go over like the super, super bright parts more than once. But look at that shit. It's crazy. That's insane. That, 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 that makes the world a difference. It makes this photo look so clean. That's a big thing with concert photos. Getting rid of the unnecessary information so that you can really get a clean, clean look. That's pretty much all I did for this John Bellion photo. It's really simple edit, nothing too complicated. It's just those like that brushing and stuff like that that really makes a difference. Now this 20 on pilots photo of Tyler Joseph. Now this was a crazy photo edit. I spent a long time editing this photo when I first when I first took it. Now with this photo, I did a lot a lot of work just everywhere. I did a lot of shit, okay. Um, we'll go over the actual edit itself first. I have the contrast a ton. Without that, I don't know. It, lo it looks fine with, that, with, with the contrast lowered, but I don't know. I liked it higher. I wanted a little more brightness out of it. Highlights, I lowered all the way down to get that look out of the smoke. I wasn't exposed for the highlights when I took this photo, purely for the fact that I literally couldn't. I didn't have time to think. Um, shadows brought up. As you can see, it's pretty important. Whites, got more whites out of it. It gives it more of that. Definitely adds a lot more exposure to the picture and definitely important for bringing out detail in the smoke and stuff like that and some more like get bring out the highlights in the places you want to bring out the highlights and then the blacks are brought up a bit too just to get more of like a more of a fuller more more exposed look i don't even know how to explain it contrast I definitely like it a lot tone curve i went crazy with the tone curve i brought it super super high into the middle that first initial point as you can see that's kind of important because, <laughs> actually, I'll show you guys what I did with my brush um, in a little bit. But, yeah, that's super important. Next, uh, what I did was I did a lot of stuff with my hues and my saturations. Um, hues, I brought, just brought my yellows to more orange and my purples to more red. Because I wanted to get that confetti to be all straight red. Because a lot of them were different shades and stuff like that. Like, And also, his face was more was blue. So, I wanted to be get more like more of a pinkish. And it looks a lot better like that. Saturations have been brought by red all the way up to get that color out of the confetti. My orange is more up. Same thing. The confetti was a little bit orange at some point, so I wanted to bring that up as well. And same with my purples and magentas. Highlights and shadows. Highlights made it red to get that, obviously to get more color out of the uh, 
the confetti and my shadow's a little blue just because it looked it looked better it made it like um matched with the, with the red and stuff like that and looked really good i'll show you guys what it looks like without the uh shadows of blue it's definitely more of a red look more purplish than i wanted and if i do that with the highlights it becomes more of just like a bluish green photo so next what i did was add a little vignetting a little blue primary nothing crazy now my brushes i reset my brushes this is what you get yeah it's a lot more uglier it's a lot uglier i completely just completely washed out this whole area here i made it just completely black as if just like it just was super dark at that time it doesn't really match up now that i think of it like with this area here but honestly no one's gonna notice that shit on in my, in my opinion at least it was so hard it's it's too hard to go out of your way and do the same thing honestly it's more of a hassle than it's worth and one of the big brushes that i did was over in this corner here the bottom left corner it was super dark on this drum right here for some reason um i actually had a water droplet mark because there was actually water on the drum when he banged the drum it splashed everywhere and got, everyone got soaking wet and so there was a water uh, droplet on my lens and so that messed up this little, little bottom left portion of the photo so it's definitely something i had to fix and it wasn't too difficult i was i messed around with it for a bit but eventually got it just by uh just by um upping the exposure a bit and the shadows nothing too crazy that's pretty much it for this photo again this one was a little more uh complicated i had a little more trouble with it just because it was a harder photo to edit just in general a lot of different factors in this photo we got a person this confetti the smoke the drum the background that was causing a problem all these different things and i think i handled it pretty well for the, eventually th then again this was a photo i took a long time ago this is back in january i believe i'm a lot better editor than i was then i would like to see how i would do editing it now but i'm not gonna bother next photo is this one of jessica right here this was definitely more of a simpler edit nothing too crazy at all um i up the contrast lower the highlights a tiny bit shadows whites blacks all up same thing i do in nearly all my photos I lowered the clarity a bit because when you actually up the shadows and the blacks and the whites and the contrast, you get a little more detail and it, I don't know, it just gets this weird look that you don't want. And if you keep the clarity normal, I don't know, it's just a little too much clarity. I feel like it's just a little too much. So I lower the clarity a little bit. It looks nice. Next was the tone curve. Usually what I do with the tone curve is this every single time. I don't know, you get, you get a little bit of fade. Oh, as always. And you get these two points keeping the line straight and a little bit a little bit bent up up here to get a little more highlights out of her. But again, nothing too crazy. Hues, I just messed with it just to get some cool colors out of it. Um, my yellows are a little more orange. Um, my greens are a little more aqua. As you can see, there's a little bit like back here that I wanted to make a little more aqua. My my blue my aqua's a little more green. It didn't make too much of a difference anywhere. Uh, my blues are, are more cyan. I think it looks a lot cooler like that. And my purples are more blue. Didn't make a difference anywhere really, to be honest. Luminances. I just lowered the luminances a little bit for my greens. You can do it either way. I just wanted to be a little less distracting from her. So I lowered a little bit. My blues, I made it a little brighter so you can get a little more detail out of this AMH. Make it a little more popping. The highlights and the shadows are definitely something that I uh, I messed with in this photo. I um have a little, I have a purple here that helps out a lot it brings it adds a little more like purplish to her face and i like that a lot instead of like the straight orange and then the shadows here i have a little bit on orange as you can see i think it's pretty cool the way it is so next is the vignetting a little more uh, on the left and a little vignetting you know nothing too crazy again blue primaries same thing as i do practically literally every photo and as for spot removals and for brushes, I didn't do too much. Um, actually, nothing at all. <laughs> I didn't do any kind of brushing or spot removal tool at all. This is the original photo. So, I don't know. I think that's quite a difference, to be honest. I think that's a safe difference, actually, for the little amount of editing that I did. Oh, and one thing that I did was I, uh, I took my temperature and made it all the way blue. And also, real quick, for the 21 Pilots photo... If you reset it, this is what it looked like originally. That was it originally. And I think I definitely made a huge difference. Added a lot more color to it. 
and I think it came out really well. Next, the last photo that we got here today, this tutorial is getting pretty long, but the last photo that we got today is this one of James right here. Sick photo, literally my top three of my favorite photos I've ever taken, for concerts at least. I up the exposure a lot, if I don't, he's pretty dark. Um, I made the temperature all the way yellow, and the tint all the way purple. The contrast is all the way up. The highlights are bent down a bit. The shadows are up a bit. The whites a little bit up. Blacks a little bit up. I didn't mess with the clarity at all because I added grain to the photo. I added my own grain, and I did this little thing here. I so what I did with the tone curve is I made it like a heavy contrast right here, and a tiny bit of fade and a lot of contrast, and then I brought a lot of highlights out by upping it like this. And you get that look out of it instead of that, which is kind of gross. So I'll put that back. I did not mess with the colors at all. I added a little bit of luminance for my yellows. It gave it this cool little brightness and made it look really cool. Next is I, with the shadows, I added purple shadows. I don't know why I did that, but it helped a lot. It helped quite a bit. <laughs> um, what I do when I edit highlights and shadows is a lot of times I just go in this little color palette here. And I just go and search for what color will will just look best. Here, red looks pretty cool. And then purple looks pretty cool. So I added purple. That was pretty much it. That's my only reasoning for it. And then a little vignetting and a little bit of blue primary. And the main thing in this photo, the main thing that I did to make this photo look the way it did, give it that grungy look, is the grain. If I had no grain... It still looks awesome in my opinion. It still looks great. I don't know. I just love the grain in this photo. I like it. It adds this cool little old school feel. I don't know. Just, I like it. It's up to you whether you want to add grain or not. If you don't want to add grain, don't add grain. Like, seriously, don't. Like, it's completely up to you. This picture looks, in my opinion, great without grain. And it looks great with grain. It's just a matter of what your preference is. For brushes, I didn't add any brushes I had no spot removals at all. So, again, literally, you could do some stuff with brushes here. You can make the drumstick a little bit brighter. You can add a little more highlights up here. But anyway, guys, that's this photo right here. And that's the last photo of the uh, of the tutorial. And I'll show you guys the uh, before real quick. It's very green. <laughs> very green. So, that's the before. And there's the after. So guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I'm definitely going to go more in depth with concert photos, how to actually take concert photos, and how to really edit the lights with different lighting and stuff like that, how to get the look that you want to get in a very much more in depth tutorial in the future. But anyway guys, if you enjoyed the video, please be sure to leave a like, comment, let me know what kind of tutorial you guys want to see in the future. Um, I'm definitely doing a lot more in the future, I got a lot more planned, so definitely stay tuned for that stuff. Subscribe for more tutorials, photography vlogs, all that shit. And let's see, guys. My name's James. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. This is the center of this getting on the land of a poor. This is the center of quarantine wings in a hospital. It's not so pleasant. It's not so good. There it is. We're just chilling. Oh, this above his gorge. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Oh, that would have been crazy. <laughs> oh, I'm just, I'm just in LA, you know, casual. No big deal. No big deal.